Hey guys, so I hope you all are having a good day. Uh, so I wanted to make a video and talk about um, a couple of the different apps that I've been using for cryptocurrency. Um, so I've actually been doing something that I feel like is pretty cool. Uh, so this app that you see right here, this is uh, Cobin Hood. So um, it's some, it's a new one that I've been that I'm using. Uh, I had it. I've had it for quite a while. I just never actually used it until here recently. And so I just sent over some crypto and uh, I wanted to just kind of, you know, check it out and see what it was all about. And so I just want to show you guys something. Um, so basically what I've been doing is I've been sending coins from my Binance over to here and and then selling them for a higher price. Um, like for example, uh, let me find it. Okay, you see these prices that I bought XRP at seventy fifty. That's pretty. That's a pretty good amount lower than what Binance offers um, XRP for. And so. If uh, look at this TRX, TRX on Binance trades for three six one right now. So yeah, basically that's what I came over here and done. Um, so now let's go ahead and uh, we'll see. As you can see, a lot of these I canceled because there's not a whole lot of activity on um, Cobin Hood yet. So a lot of it, you know, you might have to wait for a, a pretty decent amount of time before you're able to uh, actually sell. But as you can see here, if I sold 57 XRP. It, it didn't fill my whole order, but I did sell 57 of them for 72.90. So that's significantly higher than. Um, what what XRP actually trades for so and that I didn't just do that one time um, so as you can see here I get, I bought some more XRP uh, at 7090 so I already you know made a lot of profit you know just on that if I would have had a you know bigger position blah, blah blah whatever but there's not a whole lot of activity right now and so that's uh, one thing that is you know, kind of good and bad. Um, I think it's a good thing because right now uh, there's not a whole lot of coin activity, so people will pay what they got to pay to get what they want. And so that's kind of good. And so anyways, yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, uh, that's that, my history. You know, there's a lot of it, so I'm not going to go through each individual um, trade. But uh, you guys can just see that, you know... I've been trading on here and mainly it was just to check it out so now trading on here you have to do it with a strategy okay so there's no trading fees like for example on Binance every time you buy or and sell there's a trading fee on Cobin Hood there's no trading fee so that's cool but the problem on here is is when you're ready to withdraw especially like if you're gonna withdraw Bitcoin there's high there's high withdrawal fees now not as high as like some sites but compared to Binance you know I don't know I feel like it's pretty high point zero zero one Bitcoin that you know that's that's more than I'd like to give up so basically um, what I do is I come over here I send um, I've been sending XRP over from Binance selling it on here for Bitcoin and then using the Bitcoin to buy TRX and then sending the TRX back over to Binance. I know that sounds kind of annoying and uh, uh, complicated, but it's really not. And it's, it's super easy and it's just a way of um, making sure I get the most of the money that uh, I earn. So, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm going to pause the video for just a moment. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and withdraw this TRX to my Binance. Um, so 
as you can see the fee is 0.01 TRX and you know Tron coins are really cheap so 0.1 you know that's nothing to be concerned about so uh, I'll unpause the video right after I get this sent over alright so on Binance and also um, Carbon Hood every time you make a withdrawal you'll have to confirm the email so I'm going to do that alright so there we are we're confirmed now I just gotta wait on uh, the coins to reach Binance alright so I'm going to show you guys my deposit and withdrawal history um, alright So these are all the times that I've sent um, into Binance. And then, you know, you can also see my withdrawals. So, anyway, so I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, it's just something that I've been messing around with. But so far, it has been working. So, you know, that's that's pretty cool. All right, so now I'm going to go over to my Binance. So, on my Binance, right now, I only have one coin, and that's because uh, I've been doing uh, that thing between uh, Robinhood or uh, Cobbinhood. So, right now, I only have TRX coin. Um, I do plan on getting more XRP. Yeah, I do plan on getting more XRP. So, I'm actually going to check on the price of XRP right now. Alright, so, uh, as you see, XRP is trading for 7103. So, right now is a really good time for me to buy it. So, what I'm going to do... So I'm going to sell my TRX. Yeah, I really don't want to sell it for that price. Oh well. Alright, so now I'll unpause the video when this sale goes through. Alright, well, my order still has not went through, so um, I just got to be patient because I don't want to lose on that. Uh, honestly, I probably shouldn't sell it at all um, because I purchased it around 365, so uh, I should probably wait. So, um, anyways, so what I thought was cool, though, was the fact that I was able to purchase something here on Binance, you know, for a set price, and then go over to the Cobbin Hood and sell it for a significant amount higher. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, unfortunately, there's not the activity that I would like to see, um, you know, because it. whenever I did make those sales, it did take a full day of having them order set there and wait. Um, before they actually got filled, you know, so um, it's not something that you can just do rapidly. So, anyways, um, I'm hoping that Binance and okay, so there we go. Um, so right now, I'm just kind of talking, waiting on this to go through. Um, so I'm I'm hoping that Binance is soon going to add Dogecoin. Um, that would, if Coinbase does, uh, I'm pretty sure we can expect pretty much everywhere else to do the same. Um, so, Dogecoin, the last time I looked at it, it was not doing very well. Uh, I actually want to go take a look at that now that I started thinking about it. Okay, well, I, I knew that I should have bought it uh, whenever it was around 38. Uh, so, now it's back up to 41. And, uh... I don't know if it's going to dip anymore, but I think it's probably not going to dip anymore. So I think I missed out on my opportunity for Dogecoin. Um, I was comfortable holding Dogecoin. The only reason I sold it is um, 
for the stock market, uh, which it should have been the opposite. I should be selling my stocks for for cryptocurrency, but um, I got I got caught up in the wanting money because you know that's something that we all uh, that's why we're here is for money. So, anyways, uh, so I'm gonna go back over here and see if um, that's went through yet. Okay, so it hasn't went through, and it looks like it might take it a while. So, uh, I'll probably just have to go ahead and make another video later. But, um, so, anyways, these are two of the uh, apps that I'm using. I wanted to show you guys another one. Um, I was trying to make a video on my PC about this uh, website. And I, I actually did before, but my PC is having really bad problems right now. Um, I'm just going to buy a new one soon. I don't feel like messing with it anymore. It's old and outdated. And, you know, I just, I just don't want to mess with it. So, um, anyways, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you guys that. All right, guys, so the site is called Yobit, and unfortunately, uh, I can't remember my password. I'm logged into it on my computer, but my computer, um, like I said, it's having issues recording videos, and so I'm not able to log in and show you guys what I have on it, but um, so there's some, there is a couple cool things about this site. One of the cool things is that you can use Dogecoin as a central trading unit, which is pretty interesting. And so, but my favorite thing about this website is if you look up at the top here, you see invest box. So I just want to show you guys that. And so this invest box is actually really cool. Um, every day I'm, I'm, I'm using this and it's, I've been using it for almost a full month now and, um, I've gained a pretty good amount, uh, from what I, what I invested 5% every day. But um, unfortunately, you can only do it on the coins that it offers. So any of the coins that you see um, right here, these are the coins that you can do it with. And some coins do have different percentages. Um, so unfortunately, it looks like it's not loading right. Yeah, there's supposed to be more of these, but um, it looks like the website's not loading right on my phone. I usually use it on my desktop and I don't have any problems. Um, so anyways though, but you can see it's 5%. Some of them have, they have minimum amounts. Um, I do have AGR. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I have AGR and uh, I'm getting 5% of that every day. And so a, and, and AGR right now is worth 4.6 Dogecoins. So, you know, I I bought the AGR with Dogecoins, so every day I'm getting 5% AGR, and if you think about the amount of Dogecoins I have invested, you know, I'm, I'm gaining a pretty good amount on a daily basis. Um, and the other coin that I'm also doing that with is Meme Coin, and Meme Coin's really cheap on the Dogecoin, it's worth like almost nothing, but it's actually been growing a little bit on the Dogecoin. Um, it's been slightly going up, not by a big amount. It's it's worth like a very very small amount. I think uh, on Bitcoin it's worth two or three satoshis, but um, you know it's cheap, and I get five percent of it every day, and it is rising on the Dogecoin. So um, actually, it's not that it's rising on the Dogecoin. It's that Dogecoin's been falling. Uh, so. Maybe I should probably sell it soon, um, but I think right now I'm up to like forty thousand, and I started with uh, around twenty thousand. So, you know, I've basically doubled what I have in you know a period of I think about a couple of weeks since I've been investing uh, in the meme coin. So, anyways, guys, that's just something that I thought was pretty cool. Um, now, whenever you're using this site, I do want you to be aware there are some pretty high um, withdrawal 
these uh like for example if we go to dogecoin i want to show you so just make sure that uh if you're going to use this site to do it um in a manner that's worth it and you know as i said i'm using it and i'm comfortable with paying this withdrawal fee but it's just because i know that i'm going to cover any any uh i'm going to cover that expense plus make profits um through using this so And so I definitely just want you guys to just know that. So it's definitely big, better if you're working with um, a little bit bigger of an amount. You know, at least several thousand Dogecoin would uh, would be best. That's what that's about what I invested. Okay, so all right, so this website just does not load right on a phone. So if you're going to be using a mobile phone, I would not recommend this website. But if you're using a desktop, um, I think it's pretty cool for the invest box. Uh, you know, <clears throat> if you're going to use the invest box, <clears throat> uh, you'd you'd be all right to just put in like say a thousand Dogecoin and buy into one of these other um, coins that and put it in the invest box because you'll you'll cover the expense. So I wasn't able to show you guys, but I'm, I believe it's a hundred Dogecoin to withdraw. So you know, you definitely want to make sure that you can cover the uh, that hundred Dogecoin plus uh, on top of your profits. So let's go ahead and go over to Binance and see if that has went through yet. So no, <clears throat> it's fighting back and forth. So I'm probably just going to have to go ahead and in this video, it's already been going on for. 17 minutes so that's definitely a lot longer than a lot of my other videos and uh, I didn't really talk about too much I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I trade and what I've been doing with cryptocurrency and it's nothing significant it's kind of more of like just a hobby type thing because cryptocurrency you can do 24 7 and I'm doing it kind of I'm trying to do it safely and without losing uh, I just want to gain so if I can just um, build up my crypto so so I actually <clears throat> it looks like I'm down right now uh, because I was at, at in the 220s but that's just because TRX uh, has went down so if it goes back up to where it was I'll actually be up by a pretty good amount on you know what I started with and to be honest right now I still am up on the total amount that I invested so uh, anyways guys with that being said I'm going to go ahead and end this video you guys if you aren't um, <clears throat> currently like trading cryptos you know I do think it's a really good thing to get into right now you know it's, it's almost down to the now or never type thing so alright guys y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video